What's up everybody? Welcome back to AZ Trading. Today is the day we begin a new YouTube series. If you've seen any of my videos, the pattern I use to trade and teach is called the RMR pattern. I won't explain it in every video, but since this is the first of this series, I'll do a quick run through. So I've drawn out this little template here just to help visualize. So first the R we call the RAID or REACH. So typically when there are equal lows or equal highs, when we reach that area, we call that the RAID. Next is the M, which we call the market structure shift. So after this bearish RAID, we look for a bullish shift. So in order for it to be a bullish shift, it must break the previous swing high over here. So once it broke this high, we call that the market structure shift. The last R stands for the return, and this is your entry technique. This is where we participate in the trade. I like to outline three main entry techniques. The first one is the gap, the second one is the order block, and the third is the Fibonacci retracement. It's the 14th of July and we're in the S&P 500. If we go towards the left, we can see some relative equal lows over here, and we have a gap as well on the left. So as we reach those equal lows, the first thing we look for is the RAID. So it broke through those lows and it reached the gap. So that's the first R. I've labeled that the RAID there. Next thing we look for is the market structure shift. So after this bearish raid, we look for a bullish shift. So it has to break previous swing highs. So you have a swing high over here. So as soon as it breaks that swing high, we call that the market structure shift. And I've labeled that there. And finally, the return. So this is where we'll enter our position. So first, let's look for a gap. So during that bullish market shift, we look for if a gap was presented. And yes, there was. There's a gap right there. So if you're only using the gap for your entry, you actually have a very precise area to long. Another entry technique is the order block. So these black candles, these bearish candles here, if we extend that out, that is your bullish order block. So anywhere within there, you can long as well. And finally, the Fibonacci retracement. So the way you use this one is you draw a pivot from the bottom of the raid to the top of the shift and you extend that out. Anywhere below the 50% level, so under this black line, is a discount in price. So we'll be happy to long anywhere within there as well. So you can use any of these three techniques to find your entry. But once you do, there are two things you should never forget. The first one, and most importantly, is your stop loss. So when you have your order, your stop loss will be at the bottom of the raid. So it'll be right there. This stop loss should always be controlled. And finally, your objectives. So for objectives, we just look for different areas of liquidity. So above swings and below swings and gaps as well. So for this example, we have a swing high over here. We can take a partial there. We have a swing high over here. You can take something off there. And finally, we also have a gap over here. And once it reached that gap, you can take a partial off as well. I hope you enjoyed the first video in the RMR recognition series. In the next videos, I won't do as much talking. Uh, I'll point you guys in the direction and you guys can try find the RMRs before I draw them on. And I believe over time, seeing the RMR happen over and over again, it'll become like muscle memory. And that means when price is live, you'll start to see it happen live. And that's essentially the goal. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. It helps out a lot and I really appreciate it. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. And as always, take care. Peace.